I want to talk about uh, your movie, The Rhythm Section. Uh, big uh, action-packed spy thriller. Uh, you're fantastic as always in it. Uh, it. It's great. You got a lot of injuries during oh, yeah. the filming of this. You, why would you do your own stunts and do profession. things? <laughs> I mean, play. Crazy. Just this stunt people that will do great stuff. I know, right? Um, so our director, Reed Morano, she did uh, the, the Handmaid's Tale. So she shoots like really beautifully, really intense stuff. And it's the producers of James Bond, Barbara Broccoli, and you know the action is incredible. Um, but Reed was like, I really want to see this character. I want the audience to feel this character doing it. And when I when she was pitching it, I was like, I love it. Let's do it. And then I realized that meant I actually have to do it. Once we got to set, I was like, Oh no, I have to do these fight sequences myself. And train um, and all this stuff. Yeah, it was like a four minute scene with me and Jude Law beating each other up. And I mean, I'm winning, honestly. Uh, it's fine. Spoiler. <laughs> no big um, deal. <laughs> yeah, not a big deal. Um, but, um, but yeah, and then I, my hand, like I, my, I severed a ligament here, so my knuckles are kind of dropped, and then I, you know, dislocated these two bones. And How did you do that, though? You punched him? I punched, I punched his elbow. Which, like, you don't really want to punch someone's elbow. You kind of want to aim bone, for the yeah. face. Yeah. So no, I punched his elbow, and my hand just, like, basically turned to, like, party confetti. It was just, like, <laughs> upon contact. Oh, and, gosh. Um, the yeah. surgery went well. I had two surgeries, but I, I went to the hospital, and I was so excited. I have a lot of, like, dad jokes. So I went to the hospital, and I just, like, couldn't wait for the doctor to, like, ask me about my hand. And he's like, what happened? And I said, I got in a fight. Which, like, you know, he didn't know it was a movie. And he goes, oh, really? And I go, yeah, you should see the other guy. And, like, I've always wanted to do that. Oh, my gosh. But then, oh my but then the gosh. doctor's like, oh, where is he in the other room? Or is he on stand? And I was like, no, no, it's the, you should see the, the joke. You the should other. see the other guy. Yeah, no, no, I look like this. Like, yeah, yeah. You should see the, no, you know, the joke. The joke just totally, like, crashed. So it was, it was, it was useless. But I did get my right hand for this movie. People say that. That's they great, don't mean it. That's another good joke. Right? Why I don't these right people this. get this? Write, these are like, great well, jokes. Dad jokes, right? I, I went to a, I went to a dentist's office and the address was two thirty. Stop it! And I go, are you kidding me? And he's like, what? I go, your address is two thirty. Tooth hurting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your address. And he's like, oh yeah, I guess so. I'm like, yeah. are you on the gas or what's going on, buddy? You should laugh at that. It's a classic yeah, joke. Yeah, it's a good joke. Yeah. But then, but, uh, surgery. Went well, did you do the physical therapy? Yeah, so I did two surgeries. Um, I did do physical therapy. That's tough. It is tough, except, so they hire, they, Barbara really treats a, a cast and crew very well, Barbara, our producer. And my husband, we never work at the same time, but he showed up a few days late to, to after I'd already started shooting. But when my physical therapist enters, he looks like if, like, Zac Efron and, like, Fabio had a baby with, like, a Ken doll. He's, like, this Italian, like, beautiful, like... A hand therapist? I don't know. He also looked like he could do like a standing back tuck, just like <laughs> He's just on his way to get like a perfect specimen espresso. of a human being. And he would like even on set, didn't matter like if we were shooting like in the desert, he'd have a perfect little like espresso cup. Oh, I mean, no. he was just like amazing. Does he speak English? Yeah, he speaks English, but he, you know, he, it, it was newer to him speaking English. So we, he was talking about like respiration and how important that is to like you know breathe through the the physical therapy because it's painful. And Ryan had come in <laughs> on a red eye, and so he was sleeping. Sleeping in, and I was outside doing physical therapy, and he hadn't met Pierre Luigi yet. And I really wanted him to meet Pierre, Pierre Luigi. <laughs> oh my God. What? No. Oh, you can't have no. Pierre Luigi in the house. No, no. No, That's a rule in our house. No, he's probably from like Regina, Saskatchewan. Yeah. He said he was Italian, and his name was Pierre Luigi. And um, and so he's out, and I just really wanted my husband because I felt weird, like something was going on, even though it wasn't. I was like, just wake up. And then suddenly, I'm hearing like Ryan starting to wake up, and then I. I hear Pierre Luigi say to me, he's holding my hand, he goes, Respir inspiration, inspiration, deep inspiration. Oh and I was like, it's just my hand. <laughs> it's, like, no, it's like kicking no. the door in. What the hell's <laughs> going on in yeah, here? He's like, what Pierre yet? Luigi, <laughs> you again? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, that was awkward. That's awkward, yeah. Um, um, no, I want to show uh, a, a clip. Here is the beautiful Blake Lively and Jude Law, and beautiful Jude Law in the rhythm <laughs> section. Take a look at this. When are you going to teach me to fight? I should probably go over that now. <laughs> Oh!